What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. All this while we have been talking about the all new features that we have received on One UI 4.1, specifically on the Samsung's flagship phones. And now here we have the Galaxy A52, which is a 4G variant running on One UI 4.1. Yes, I have recently received this update on this device. As you can see the change log here, we have got One UI 4.1 upgrade Android 12 mentioned right here. However, the changelog talks about all the new features that we received on One UI 4.0 as well. So there is nothing categorically mentioned about the new features of One UI 4.1 here. In this video, we are going to take a look at all those new features we have got with this update. I have already made a couple of videos on the One UI 4.1. There are two parts. I have left the links for those videos in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. Basically, those are the new features that we have got on the S22 Ultra. But for the mid-range phones, of course, Samsung would be omitting one or two features here and there. Now, before we go ahead, if you want to stay updated with all the new updates that you get on your Samsung Galaxy devices, be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like for this video if you find it useful. Now, let's take a look at the first one. This is the RAM Plus. Let's go to settings. Let me tap on battery and device care. Here, let me tap on memory. At the bottom, we see RAM Plus. When I tap on this, we get three different options, 2GB, 4GB, and 6GB. We can select the virtual memory required to expand the RAM. Here, I will leave it to 4GB. Uh, this phone has got 6GB of RAM. Just in case if it requires higher RAM, it may use the virtual memory here. Now, I'm not really sure how effectively this uses the virtual memory. We do not have a mechanism to test that, so I will leave it over here. The second feature is the all new revamped color palettes. Let's press and hold on the home screen. I'll tap on wallpaper and style. As you see, we have color palettes here. These are in bars, unlike the circles that we had earlier. And it shows six different colors. However, when you select these bars or these particular color options and set it on your phone, you will not see much of a difference compared to the previous version of this color palette. I feel this is just a cosmetic change we have here in the color palette settings. I have made a couple of videos on color palettes for which I have left the link in the description. I have compared the previous version of the color palette as well as the current version on One UI 4.1. Go ahead and check those videos out. Now let's move on to the next one. This change is on the calendar application. I'll open calendar, tap on the hamburger menu here, tap on settings. Here you can see we have an all new option, even title font size. When I tap on this, we can select extra small, small, medium, large, or extra large for the event titles. Let me just show you that. I'll select extra large. Now let's go back to the calendar. As you can see, the font size is changed here. So depending on your requirement, you can set the fonts. This is another change we have on One UI 4.1 on the mid-range devices. Next one is an additional feature in labs section. Let me tap on settings. Let's go to advanced features. I'll tap on labs. As you can see, we have an additional option here, full screen in split screen view. It says hide the status and navigation bar so you can see more of each app, swipe up from the bottom of the screen or down from the top to show the hidden bars. Basically, this is a feature which has been tested by Samsung on the GoodLock module. Now it has been incorporated on One UI 4.1. When you enable this, the status bar and navigation bars will be hidden on the split screen view. Let me just show you that. Let's open two applications in split screen view. Now, since I have enabled the feature, the status bar and the navigation bars are hidden. The next one is image editing feature inside the gallery application. Let's open gallery. I will open a particular image here. As you can see, there is no bokeh effect on this image. Now let's tap on the kebab menu here. As you can see, we have an all new option now, add portrait effect. So with this feature, we can add portrait effect on a picture you have taken on your phone's camera application. Now the limitation with this feature is we cannot add portrait effect on group selfies or group images. Only if there is one individual on an image, you will be able to add portrait effect. The next important feature addition is a hidden feature. This is available while sharing the images or videos from the gallery or my files. Let me show you that. Let's select a couple of images or videos here. I'll tap on share. As you can see, it says we have two items here and it also shows the memory here. And then we have this option called options. I'll tap on this. 
as you see it says include all image and video data include all metadata and original as well as edited versions of images and videos recipients can revert and view the originals videos will be sent in original quality this is an important feature just in case if you want to share an edited image with others and allow them to edit it further or revert it to its original you can enable this feature and then share the files on quick share all right now let's tap on settings again let's tap on advanced feature and open bixby routines option here under adaptive routine we have got an all new option i'll just tap on view more as you can see the last one is get notified when fully charged get alerted when your battery reaches a full charge as you can see in the if condition we have got battery level equal or above 100% which can be edited if you want to reduce that particular percentage to maybe 85 or 90% you can do that as well in the then condition we have edge lighting effect once vibrate once always on display show custom notification so you can select or customize the then condition over here this is an all new bixby routine preset we have on the bixby routines now these are some amazing new features we have got on One UI 4.1 for the mid-range phones. I have got one bad news for you guys though. If you have been waiting for the smart widgets, we are not getting it for the mid-range phones. Perhaps Samsung wants to offer it only on its flagship devices, but that is not the right thing to do on Samsung's part. At least some of the mid-range phones should be getting these features. Maybe in the next update, we will get it. Let's wait and see. Now let me just show you the smart widget option on the S22 Ultra. Let's press and hold on the home screen. I'll tap on widgets. Here you see we have got smart widgets. I'll just select and add it on the home screen. Here when you swipe on the widget, we can access multiple widgets on a single widget. This will get rid of the clutter you will have on the home screen by adding multiple widgets. You can add or delete the widgets from the smart widget and set it on the home screen. That's a very cool feature. Unfortunately, the mid-range phones are not getting it. If at all you have a mid-range phone from Samsung and if you have received this feature, do let me know in the comment section below. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. There are a few interesting videos which I have made on One UI 4.1 as well as some tips and tricks videos on Samsung Galaxy phones. Go ahead and check them out and while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash the like button for this video if you find it useful. That's about it. Thanks all for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.